Welcome back to Spinard Crossover. On this portion, we have some lost clip that we found. This is our exclusive interview with our very own Mark Valena back in, I don't know when it was, but we found it. And here is a story about how he got into basketball and how he is with MLSC now. So check this out. What was, was your experience with working with the Raptors? It's been a dream come true, mm -hmm. honestly. Been uh, a real dream. Started with the Raptors and MLSC in uh, 2014, so mm -hmm. four years now, uh, almost five years now. Um, yeah. Jeff Landicho, big mentor to a lot of people. Um, he, saw, he actually saw a lot of stuff I was doing with, with Bounce, yeah. and he knew that. He told me, when the time's right, I'll let you know, and uh, he let me know in 2014. Wow. And the time worked out perfectly, so I, brought, I was brought on board. Uh, as part of the Raptors kind of creative team, doing the opening videos, you know, doing um, social videos. We did Raptors Rundown. I was traveling with the team for those three years. Um, commercials, you know, doing player pitch videos for guys that are, are here or not here. I got yeah. to do that, yeah. which, is, which is really um, rewarding. And I think the most remote, rewarding thing um, for the, that I've done with them is probably Giants of Africa. To be, to be involved yeah. with Masai and his organization, to travel to Africa um, for months on end and to, you know, affect the youth there has been uh, pretty, pretty special. Yeah. I remember, I, this, I learned this information off camera. Your mom actually told me that when you went to Giants of Africa, something about food and then you couldn't, you drank water or something like that and you had some runny tummy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I mean. We were at like a dinner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We didn't know it was I mean, awful. Geez, until, geez, yeah. Shout out to my mom. Well, I mean, hey, you know. But talk about Giants of Africa. Africa. Yeah, yeah. Just talk about Giants of Africa and the experience of being there, aside from yeah. that kind of food stuff. No, it's and cool. like the, yeah. yeah, my first year going was 2015. Yeah. I went there for a full month. Yeah. And um, we went to Kenya, went to yeah. Ghana, Nigeria, Botswana. Um, where is it? And two more. Anyway, there's mm. a few other countries. Mm. Um, yeah, the experience was life-changing. Every day filming, shooting, editing. So one, from a professional standpoint, you learn a lot. You learn to how to be, you know, to not just to be focused, to do it for the kids. Um, and you learn to be creative. Like, yeah. you're doing the same thing every day for 30 days. Like, how do you do it differently? Yeah. So that was a challenge, but yeah. a, a rewarding one at that. And then you learn a lot about yourself. You know, you learn about what... You care about and you know seeing people who have nothing and seeing how happy they are just to get a ball just to get a pair of shoes yeah. to get a t-shirt and like their whole life changes by getting that yeah. you know that's uh pretty cool to see and and i think like li lesson to live by you don't need much to be happy mm -hmm. but uh mm. you know these kids have a big smile and that changes changes everything mm. did well, you get to play with them did you yeah, yeah. oh yeah, yeah. yeah of course yeah. of course <laughs> yeah. definitely got to play with yeah. them yeah. you know me and a couple guys we played two on two with these kids yeah. we show them a little pick and roll yeah. you know show them that and do it 10 times in a row and they finally yeah. might know what we're doing yeah. and we switch it up do a pick and pop right oh, just so yeah. little things like that but uh some of these kids are really skillful too yeah. you know and jeff mentioned um justin Dijon when he was on the show about the talents that they have in Africa, like, can you tell us a little bit about what you saw? Because we've had players now in the Raptors, like uh, yeah. Siakam or Embiid, uh, yeah, players yeah. from Africa who have the skills, or they picked it up when they were like 16, 17 years old at basketball, and all of a sudden they're here dominating the league. Like, can you tell us a little bit about the talent that you guys saw in when you guys were there? Imagine playing on a dirt court, not leveled, <laughs> rims too high or too low, yeah. without shoes. This is how these guys learn to play. So, you know, oh. once they get the right gear, the right yeah teaching and, the right, and the, being at the right age, I think mm -hmm. Africa is the next big continent for basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're all, they're so, they're so big. Yeah. <laughs> they're so Tall. long and lanky that, yeah. you know, there's not a lot of guards yet, but um, I think that's what the next group of Africans are learning, how to mm -hmm. be ball handlers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good teachers now out there, former mm -hmm. NBA players, former pro players from different countries that are teaching them, but it's, it's vast and uncharted. There's lots of talent in Africa. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. It's really cool to see, um, you know, we're there to help and teach, but also give these kids an opportunity that mm -hmm. maybe if they're potentially, you know, a good level, they could come over here and learn. And if not, they come over here and, you know, get an education, which is just as important. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, is it, is it a one-off trip or are you planning to go back, like, to do another follow-up, like, video and, like, stuff? Yeah, yeah. Do so we, I've been uh, yeah. four times now. Mm -hmm. I've been in Africa mm -hmm. four times, and I think uh, the big reward or the one of the craziest moments in my life was last year. Um, we were there in July for a week, mm -hmm. and I was there uh, with 
GOA, and we, we went to visit uh, President Obama's or former President Obama's sister's area in Kenya. Wow. We got to work with him. I got to interview him, which is amazing. Wow. And uh, just to learn and feel his presence was, was really cool. But uh, next year, I think, uh, you know, bigger and better. Plan, they're, they're in planning stages, but there's some cool things planned uh, for GOA next year. Yeah. yeah. Cool. And some crazy stories that you have. Um, what about, I guess, your favorite, uh, working with Raptors? What was your favorite moment when you guys were uh, working there with the Raptors? Uh, what was kind of your standout or you think your biggest achievement working with the Raptors? Oh, okay. Well, let's, there's some moments that kind of flicker in my head. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I was um, working with Jeff for yeah. Open Gym, I think it was the moment they finally beat the Pacers mm -hmm. first round at home. Yeah. So I was filming on the court for that. And I remember Jeff, he was like, if we're close to winning, you get on the court and you run and you capture whatever you see with Damar and Kyle. Yeah. So yeah. once I heard that and I saw that, you know, we we're up three points with a minute left, we are right at the baseline. Yeah. And the moment that the time ran out, I couldn't believe it. The confetti started going, yeah. you know, yeah. everyone started running on the court. I ran to Kyle and Damar and I was just locked on them. Yeah. I'll never forget that. Yeah. They embraced, sweaty embrace, tightest embrace I've probably ever seen yeah. Yeah. before from a player, right? Yeah. It was just crazy. And then they did their interviews with TNT or, you know, ESPN was there or yeah. whatever. They did all that. Sportsnet, TSN. I followed DeMar as he walked back through the, through the VOM, we call it the tunnel. Yeah. And who was waiting for him was Masai. Oh. Masai was there and he gave him a big hug. Oh. And he gave him a big hug saying, you know what? You saved our franchise to Kyle and DeMar. And I think that was... From a moment that I filmed and recorded, that was one of the most, like, in, that's an engraved moment that I'll always have in my brain. Yeah. Um, that was that was pretty cool. And then Drake was there too. Yeah. And those those, those guys there were all no embraced. There was no embraced. <laughs> no, there was no embraced. No, there's, 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 there's a lot of things going on. But yeah. There was yeah. that. I think another pivotal capture moment was yeah. uh, Raptors down a five championship. I was in the locker room for that too. Yeah. So to see that our first championship um, in basketball in Canada yeah. was pretty special. Mm -hmm. That was the same night that the Raptors beat Milwaukee, too, on the road. Mm -hmm. So we were in the locker, you know, champagne's flying. <laughs> a lot of cool <laughs> things are going on there. And then yeah. they turn on the Milwaukee game. Yeah. And we watched the game with the team. Oh, that's cool. And the Raptors beat them, too. So that was pretty crazy. Yeah. Um, that's, those are the kind of highlights for the Raptors, the top, top highlights in my head. From, like, things that I was involved in, probably the Raptors, oh, timing <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll I, was, I was so focused on that story yeah. i can just see it in my head too like yeah. the embrace and like the emotion too you probably emotion. felt with just being in that moment you're in the, in the middle of everything can't cry right? try not to cry yeah. oh yeah i would have cried if i, I saw the bar too. like yeah and larry wipe yeah. your tears my mom would say <laughs> yeah all right thank you for being with us mark any shout outs you'd like to give over there shout out to rise tribe watch out we got a lot of things planned so at Rise Tribe. There you go. Mikey Mark. Well, follow us on our crossover, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. We're here to share you guys the craziest, best stories you could ever find out there for all Filipinos out there that wants to pursue basketball or the creative side of basketball. Keep tuned. Yep, that's that's right. And hey, make sure you connect with Rise Tribe. It's, there's just a great group of people and there's a lot of events. We'll be there. Say hi to us. And yeah, stay ballin'. What up, everyody? It's your boy, Marky Mark. It's your girl, Ingrid May. This is the end of our first segment, and be sure to check us out next week for our second segment for our season finale. As always, don't forget to follow us on all of our social media, Twitter, Facebook, and on YouTube, Pernoy Bounce, youtube.com slash Pernoy Bounce, and all the social media there. You catch all of our content there. That is right, and hey, if you're bouncing, you got to do something. Stay bonded.